of objects in our surroundings. Friends, today in this video, we will learn about some characteristics of objects around us through the conversation between Appu the elephant and Jagu the monkey. Hey Jagu, where are you going with such a heavy box? I'm going to Golu's birthday party. Even I am going there. Hey Jagu, can you also roll your box like this the way I'm rolling my ball? <laughs> Apu, how is it possible that I roll my box just like your ball? Like this. Apu, look at this. This is your ball. And this is my box. Just touch it and see. Is it in the shape of your ball? No. This is not round like my ball. And it has got sharp corners on all the sides. And because it has a flat surface, it can be slided and also be moved. It is not possible to roll it. But I can surely slide and move it. Yes, Appu. This box has corners and its surface is also flat. This is why it cannot be rolled. Your ball is round. And that is why it can be rolled. Okay, I have understood that object which has got curved surface which doesn't have corners can be rolled. And those objects which have got flat surface cannot be rolled, isn't it? Yes, Appo. Jaggu, what gift did you get for Golu? I have got this pencil box and a water bottle for him. This pencil box also has a flat surface just like your box. So you can slide and move it. Isn't it? Yes. And this bottle can be rolled like this. Isn't it? Yes. We can roll this bottle and also slide and move it like this. What is there in this pencil box? There are two pencils in the pencil box. Look, Jakku, in this pencil box, the yellow pencil is longer than the blue pencil. Yes, this means that the blue pencil is small. Yes, the yellow pencil is long and the blue pencil is short. Hey Appu, what have you bought for Golu? Yes Jaggu, I too must give a nice toy to Golu as a birthday gift. Yes, this is a good idea. So will you come with me to buy the gift? Yes. Let's go. Through Appu and Jagu's conversation, we came to know such things about the objects 
around us that objects with a round surface can roll and that objects with a flat surface slide by comparing two objects we can find out about their length you must also try to see such characteristics in the objects around you in the next video we will understand the characteristics of the objects around us with some examples today we will understand the characteristics of objects around us with some examples which are the things here which can be easily rolled we can easily roll basketball ball football and tennis ball because they don't have any corners and they have a curved surface wow apu now come on just arrange these balls in the ascending order of their sides here according to their size we first place the smallest tennis ball then the ball bigger than that then basketball and finally we place the largest football well done appu appu how are we going to take this toy from one place to another place oh this is a very big toy it is not round it has corners and also flat surface for that reason we cannot roll it like a ball we will slide it like this well done which one of these bats is longer if we compare both the bats this wooden bat is longer and the plastic bat is shorter very good hey appu which toy did you like for golu i will buy this toy for golu because he can slide it like your bottle like this and see he can even roll it like this <laughs> come on let's go now today we understood the characteristics of objects around us with some examples in the next video we will see the mistakes we make while understanding the characteristics of the objects around us friends today we will understand some interesting facts about the objects in our surroundings appu look few things are kept over here a marble a lunch box and a tin can can you tell me what kind of surface does the lunch box have yes this lunch box here has a flat surface which we can also move by putting it upright like this well done now can you tell me that amongst the objects that are kept here which of them have a curved surface here this marble has a curved surface and that tin can hey this can stand upright 
like the lunch box but it is also curved like the marble so does it have a curved surface or a flat surface it has a cylindrical shape that means it is a cylinder the surface of cylindrical objects are curved okay i understand that this thing can also have curved surface just like the water bottle now tell me which of these objects can be moved this is very simple look this lunch box has a flat surface we cannot roll it like a ball we can only slide it and the tin box oh yes this tin can has a cylindrical shape that means it's a cylinder so we can put it upright and slide it and also roll it like this very good come on now appu tell me one thing which of these objects can be rolled look this marble is round we can easily roll it like this and as you can see this tin can is cylindrical cylindrical objects have a flat surface on top and also on bottom that's why we can slide them but if its surface is curved we can also roll them like this oh wow appu you have understood very well as to which objects can be rolled and which can be slided and which can be rolled and slided friends today we understood some interesting facts about the characteristics of objects around us for example we can slide the objects with a flat surface we can roll the objects with a round surface and that we can roll and slide objects with a cylindrical surface you two along with your friends can learn about some more such objects with flat surface and curved surface in the next video we will learn some more characteristics of objects around us objects with smooth and rough surface friends today we will learn about the things around us with smooth or rough surfaces hey appu what are you doing here look jaggu i have two similar balls when i roll them like this the ball rolls down faster on this wooden slope but on this other slope the ball rolls down slowly why is it so jaggu hey appu your balls are similar but the slope of these wooden planks is not the same i did not quite understand look here just look at this surface of this slope our hand slides smoothly and easily on the things which have a smooth surface we also call them smooth surfaced now look at this slope its slope is very rough now come touch it and feel it mm my hand is sliding on this its surface is very smooth yes appu the surface of few things 
are smooth so our hand easily slides on them this is called a smooth surface come on now touch and feel the slope oh its surface is too rough yes correct this slope has a rough surface which means this is a rough surface appu when the surface of an object has a hole not or if it is bumpy we call that surface a rough surface which means the surface is rough our hand cannot slide on it easily yes now i understood the ball rolls faster on this wooden slope because this slope has a smooth surface which means it is very smooth and the ball rolls slowly on this slope because this slope has a rough surface which means its surface is very rough well done appu hey jaggu i am very hungry come on let us go to the kitchen and eat something yes let's go hey jaggu do eatables also have smooth or rough surfaces yes appu look here are some vegetables and fruits now blindfold yourself and touch and feel these things this is bitter gourd it has a rough surface mm this is capsicum it has a smooth surface and this is a bottle gourd this too has a smooth surface absolutely right appu come on now try and feel these fruits hey my hand is not sliding easily on this surface this is a pineapple with a rough surface and my hand is sliding easily on this surface so this is a watermelon with a smooth surface oh wow appu well done okay appu i will take your leave now okay then see you again bye okay so today we have learned about the things that are around us with smooth and rough surfaces in the next video we will learn the characteristics of the round things that are around us spin roll and slide friends today we will see those things around us that can spin roll or slide hey appu what are you doing with this top hey jaggu i am actually spinning the stop give it to me even i want to spin it take it even i can spin the top appu i am having a lot of fun hey look appu i can even roll this stop just like this yes we can actually roll and spin the top come on appu let us look for more things that can spin and roll
यस यस लुक वी कैन रोल दिस सी डी ऑन इट्स कर्व सर्फिस एंड ऑल्सो स्पिन इट लाइक दिस हे वी कैन इवन स्लाइड द सी डी लाइक दिस ऑन इट्स फ्लैट सर्फिस हो यस कम ऑन लेट अस लुक फॉर मोर थिंग्स दैट कैन रोल एंड स्लाइड यस Let's go. Hey Jaggu, is it possible to spin this ball round and round? Yes, Appu. We can actually spin this ball round and round. And we can also roll it like this. Oh, but its shape is not round like a ball. but still it can roll yes appu all the things with a curved surface can roll jaggu look we can also roll this glass like this yes look here this plate is also rolling like the glass oh wow Look up po we can slide this ball on its flat surface and also spin it like this Oh wow look we can slide this plate like this and also spin it on its curved surface like this Yes now look we can even slide this glass and also spin it like this yes jaggu but the plate stops after spinning a little and the glass keeps spinning for a longer time <laughs> you are right appu come on let us look for more such things All right, let's go. So children, today we learned about the things around us that can spin, roll or slide. In the next video, we will learn to make a tower.